Hello, everyone. I'm Jia Yixie from Wuhan University, China. Um, uh, I'm so glad to be here to introduce our work titled Unified SSR, a Unified Framework of Sequential Search and Recommendation. Um, this is a collaborative work with Nyon Technological University, Singapore. So first, I will briefly review the background. Um, in an, uh, on an e-commerce platform, um, users typically interact with products in two major scenarios, that is search and recommendation. Um, users can interact with products listed on the recommendation page, uh, or they can issue a query and then proceed to interact with products uh, displayed on the search result page. Um, traditionally, uh, these two scenarios are, uh, have been regarded as two separate research scenarios. Um, the key difference of these two scenarios is that users provide explicit queries for search, while no query is given for recommendation. Um, uh, here is uh, an integrated system of recommendation engine and search engine. Um, we can see that uh, two engines have the same uh, objectives that is to generate a personalized rank list of products and also they share the user set item set and the vocabulary so based on the commonalities um, uh, there is a general idea that um, joint learning of user behavior history in uh, search and recommendation scenario uh, could potentially benefit for both scenarios so in order to build such a unified model, uh, there are two main challenges we should consider. Um, one is the cross-scenario and the cross-view user behavior modeling. Um, that is, uh, the cross-scenario behaviors includes the interaction with products in two scenarios, and uh, cross-view uh, cross behaviors includes the uh, user issue a query and then interact with products in the search scenario. Uh, and the second challenge is uh, in a user behavior sequence, uh, user intent evolves over time so that users engage in a series of consecutive behaviors driven by an intent and after which that intent may drift or even change. So the second cha challenge is uh, the joint dynamic user intent modeling. Um, uh, to solve the above challenges uh, in this paper, we propose a new unified framework for sequential search and recommendation that adopts a dual branch architecture with shared parameters to enable the joint learning of cross scenario and cross view sequential user behaviors. Um, we design an intent-oriented session modeling module that captures the dynamic user intent by leveraging two self-supervised learning signals. Um, and we conduct extensive experiments on three public data sets to evaluate the proposed model in both search and recommendation scenarios. Um, before I illustrate the model details, um, first I will introduce the problem statements. Um, for each user, uh, interactions with products occur in both search and the recommendation scenarios. Um, in the search scenario, we have two sequences, um, product sequence and the query sequence, uh, which are time aligned. And also the current query is included in the query sequence. And in the recommendation scenario, we have a, a product sequence uh, in the recommendation scenario. and. Uh, uh, the unified model aims to estimate the personalized ranking scores for all products um, in two scenarios. So here is the overview of our proposed model. Um, the entire dual branch architecture of the model is on the right side of the subfigure A. Um, so this dual branch, uh, there are two inputs, uh, product sequence and the query sequence. Uh, are the inputs of the dual branch. And this, uh, arc, uh, this dual arch, uh, branch architecture can be adopted to the re uh, recommendation scenario uh, by deactivating the query branch. And the subfigure B and C are the details uh, of the encoder and uh, the proposed intent-oriented session modeling. 
Um, so the first model a module is the embedding module, uh, where we embed the product uh, embeddings and the uh, product sequence and the query sequence. For the product uh, sequence embed, uh, embedding, we use the product embeddings and the user embeddings, as well as the positional encoding. Uh, and for the query sequence, we use the query embeddings and the user uh, embeddings, and also the positional encoding. Um, for the query embedding, we use the uh, mean pooling of uh, all the query words to construct the query embeddings. And uh, so we uh, obtain the uh, sequence matrix for product and the query. Um, the sequence matrix then goes through the Siamese enco encoder, which is a transformer decoder-like. Um, there are a multi-head self-attention, multi-head cross-attention, and a feed-forward sublayer in each encoder layer. Um, for the cross attention, the query is from the current sequence and the key and the value are from the sequence in the other branch. So to make sure the Siamese structure for the recommendation scenario where there is only one branch active, the cross attention becomes the same as self attention. Um, just uh, as I just talked about before, um, it is challenging to model the dynamic user intent in the user behavior sequence because there is no explicit label for that. So we design an intent-oriented session modeling which models the user intent by learning, the lo uh, learning to locate the intent-oriented session based on the contextual information. Uh, so we first uh, uniformly di uh, divide the sequence into several sessions and then learn two parameters based on the sequence matrix that locates the sessions, which are the offsets and the scale. Uh, then we use the mean pooling of behavior representations in each session to obtain the session representation, uh, which uh, uh, then the behavior representations are enhanced by its belonging session representations. Uh, in order to further uh, facilitate uh, semantic session discovery, uh, we consider two self-supervised learning signals. Uh, one is different user intents in, uh, within a behavior sequence should lead to distinguishable sessions. And the second is a pair of um, product session and the query session in dual behavior sequences driven by a common user intent should align with each other. So we should maximize the similarity of adjacent sessions in a sequence and minimize the similarity of corresponding uh, sessions in two sequences. Um, and uh, finally, we use uh, finally, uh, we use the task-specific predictor based on uh, inner product to obtain the scores of all the products and uh, utilize the binary cross entropy loss as the prediction loss. Uh, we also adopt a two-stage chaining uh, paradigm that consists of two uh, uh, two stage. Uh, 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 one stage is multitask joint pre uh, joint pre-chaining, and uh, the second stage is task-specific fine-tuning. Um, so uh, next, I will introduce the experiments. But I think due to the time limits, I should stop here. Maybe. You still have two minutes. Ah, okay. Uh, so we use uh, three data sets, uh, Jingdong search data sets and uh, two subsets of Amazon uh, review data sets. And we use the HR and uh, heat ratio and NECG as the evaluation metrics. And here is the overall performance comparison with baseline methods. Uh, we select uh, three search baselines, three recommendation baselines, and also three joint learning baselines. Um, so from the result, we can see our model achieves the best performance. And we also uh, conduct an ablation study to see how the task-specific fine-tuning um, cross attention and the parameter sharing mechanism and also the uh, the intent-oriented session modeling uh, contributes to the overall performance. So, to, uh, so I will 
skip the conclusion. And that's all I want to share today. Um, if you have interest in our wo uh, work, you can uh, feel free to email me or check our data sets. Um, thank you for your listening. Uh, do you have any questions?